is getting 1500 calories per day too low? How about 1700 calories? Well, in my recent survey, 28% of you said that you're between 15 to 1700 calories per day when you wanna lose body fat. And a lot of people would consider those to be very low numbers. So could it be that you're in fact under eating calories and now risking losing muscle, slowing down your metabolism, frequently falling off track, and even regaining all the weight that you've lost? Well, calorie intakes are pretty individual. So in order to answer this question, in this video, I'm gonna share with you five signs that your calories might be set too low. And what I'd like you to do is take these signs and then honestly evaluate your current plan and see if you need to make any changes. Now diving into sign number one, which is that you're objectively getting weaker in the gym. And I don't mean just a one-off workout. I'm a bad day can happen even in a caloric surplus. But if you notice that you're consistently getting worse training performance and you're not even that lean, well, then you have a problem. And this usually starts with getting fewer reps than you did before, and then eventually having to reduce the weight that you use on your main lifts. And it can escalate to a level where you have such low energy that the second half of your workout is terrible. You can barely finish it. And this is a real issue. Poor training performance is how people end up losing lean muscle, becoming more skinny fat and slowing down their metabolism. And if you're a beginner or an intermediate lifter, well, you should be able to get stronger all the way until you get down to that 10 to 15% body fat level. This will not only protect the lean muscle mass you currently have, but in case of beginners, allow you to build more lean muscle while you're losing body fat. Now, it's important to note that it's completely normal for strength gains to slow down one once you're at a very low body fat percentage. And for most guys, that's gonna be around 10 to 12% body fat, or for guys that wanna get under 10% body fat. But if you're not at those low levels yet, and you're seeing consistent losses in strength, well, that might be a sign that you're just not eating enough. So I would have you consider increasing your calories by five to 10% and then reevaluating from there. There's no point in chasing a number on the scale at the expense of losing muscle. You'll just end up with a much worse physique and it's gonna be much more difficult to sustain anyway. Now, moving on to sign number two, and that's that you're losing weight too fast based on your current body fat percentage. So we know that the more body fat you carry, the higher your body fat percentage, the lower your calorie intake can be, and you can lose weight faster without risking muscle loss. And this assumes that your training is well set up, that you're getting sufficient sleep, that you're eating enough protein, and that you're hitting the like button. But there are some limitations here. It's often mentioned that the lowest calorie intake you should have is 10 calories per pound of your target body weight. So if your target body weight is 180 pounds, which is about 82 kilos, that you shouldn't be eating less than 1800 calories per day. Now this number doesn't describe a starting point. This might be an end point for last few weeks of a cut if you're getting super shredded, but generally the rule stands as a soft limit where if you get under these levels, you're probably doing something that's unsustainable. And what I like about this is simplicity, but I already see some comments or some problems here. Uh, some people will say, well, I'm 220, I'm eating 1700 calories and I'm not losing any weight. And the problem is tracking. Most people cannot accurately estimate their calorie intake Plus we got labels that are a little bit off and we also got eating out, which can be off as well. So overall, what I would say is a more precise way to tell if your calories are truly set too low is to see how much weight are you losing week to week based on your body fat percentage. If you're above 20% body fat, aim to lose 1% of your body weight per week. So for example, if you're 200 pounds, about 90 kilos at 25% body fat, aim to lose two pounds per week or about one kilo per week. That's fast enough for you to see great results, but it's also not too fast to a point where it becomes unsustainable. If you're losing double that or a lot more than that, it's probably time to increase the calories a little bit just so you can move to something more sustainable. Now, if you're already at 20% body fat and you wanna get down to 15, 12, or 10% body fat, then my recommendation is to lose between half a percent to about three quarter of a percent of your body weight per week. So if you're at 180 pounds, which is about 82 kg, this comes out at losing one pound per week or half a kilo per week. These are recommended rates of fat loss that will enable you to protect your lean muscle mass and will make the whole approach a lot more sustainable. Now, the third sign that your calories might be too low is that you consistently end up having cheat days. And the common scenario here is having four or five days of very low calories, followed by a binge on the weekends, and then returning back to those low calories. And if we look at the average intake across multiple weeks, it's pretty close to maintenance. So you're barely seeing any progress, but you feel restricted most of the time. 
Also, your training performance suffers due to those low calorie days, and that then, of course, negative affects your body composition. And in this situation, most people tend to blame a lack of discipline. But the reality is, the plan itself is set up for you to fail. You need to start eating more on those regular days, so you don't have such an urge to rebel against your diet on the weekends. Now, sign number four is that your hunger is getting completely out of control. And look, some hunger when losing body fat is completely normal. And if you eat whole healthy unprocessed foods, get your protein, get your vegetables, drink enough water, sleep well, you'll be able to manage it well. But the problem is when your calories are so low that you're hungry all the time, when you're consistently obsessing about food, no meals leave you satiated, and you eventually reach a breaking point where you just start snacking away your calorie deficit. So even though your goal might be 1600 calories per day, you're consistently eating more than 2000. You may as well plan for that and then increase your calorie intake instead of going quote unquote off the plan all the time and then dealing with the mental disappointment that comes with that. The ultimate goal is to find a balance between effectiveness and sustainability. So rather than trying to prove to yourself that it can be ultra disciplined for a few days just to fall off track, aim to prove to yourself that you can be consistent for months, that you can stick with a plan long term. Now, the fifth sign that your calories might be too low is that you're not able to function properly day to day. And the most common symptom here is feeling tired and lethargic most of the time, where you can't focus on work, you end up falling behind, that causes more stress, which makes everything else worse. Some people experience dizziness, headaches, not being able to fall asleep. They basically can't keep up with their day to day responsibilities. At that level, the diet started affecting quality of life in a very negative way and a lot of people will just say it's not worth it and they're gonna quit and if this has happened to you I would highly recommend that you increase your calories by 10% and then you recalibrate from there and if you've been in the stage for a long time you felt like this then I would even suggest doing a diet break to maintenance calories for two to four weeks to let some of that diet fatigue dissipate I know that getting lean is very important but it should not come at the expense of your career your family and your life in general there's a better and more balanced way of doing this. Instead of trying to fix a decade of bad eating habits in two, three months of crash dieting, take a more long-term patient approach. It's not just about getting to your goal weight as quickly as possible. It's about creating a new lifestyle and building a healthy routine that will help you stay lean, which doesn't happen overnight. So instead of cutting calories to the lowest amount that you can possibly eat, aim to keep your calories as high as possible while you're losing that half a percent to 1% of your body weight per week. And if you're not doing it already, I highly recommend that you start walking 7,000 to 10,000 steps per day, which will help you create that calorie deficit without having to starve yourself. And another thing that's going to help you with a calorie deficit is making sure you hit that subscribe button below, enable notifications by hitting the bell icon, details for coaching if you want to work with me on the description below, also leaving another helpful video here for you at the end. So check out that video and I'm going to see you right there.